YouTube, what is up? Okay, so, Mr. Tantrum here. Today, uh, I'm going to tell y'all how to install a PA system in your vehicular device. This is a uh, power horn, radio shack. This is this little speaker. That's basically the PA. You got wires, connectors, electrical tape, everything goes inside. Basically, the parts you're going to need are speaker from Radio Shack. Well, that's where I got mine. It was thirty-five dollars, something like that. It's a hundred watts. It's really loud. Um, you're gonna need wire, just normal wire. You're gonna need connectors. These are the best connectors. They're like little wire insulators. You just put the two wires in them. And then you connect them, and you twist these little things, and they connect the wires, and they keep them insulated, and there's like white gel stuff inside that keeps them held together. And then I taped them together with electrical tape just to make it more, uh, manageable and less messy. Okay, um, so, speaker, wire, connectors, tape, you're going to need an RCA cable. Hold on. Okay, the RCA cable looks like this on one end it's kind of like something that you plug into your iPod except for on the other end it has I can't see it because mine's already connected but it has just two wires sticking off of it you can got, just ask the guy at Radio Shack and I'm sh guy or girl I'm sorry at Radio Shack and I'm sure they'll know exactly well probably what you're talking about just say I'm looking for an RCA cable that connects one side to like power and the other side that plugs into something and you have to get the right size and stuff um, depending on what you're plugging into like what kind of CB radio uh, so anyways you need so now that's speaker wire connectors electrical tape RCA cable connector and also you're going to need a CB radio. Yep, they're like thirty dollars. I mean, you can buy a really nice one for like a hundred or something, or two hundred maybe. But this one was thirty dollars. It was really cheap. I think I got it on like Amazon.com or something. Um, yeah, and that's. Oh well, make sure your uh, CB has a PA setting. See mine right there. It's hard to see. Hold on, let me turn on light. It didn't help. Okay. Yeah. You can either choose CB or PA. There's a little switch. You can switch between the two. Like, while you're using your CB, you can have it as... You can connect an antenna to it and talk to other people on it if you really want. And just switch it between the PA. So, and that's the uh, last thing you need. So now I'm going to talk about how to connect everything together to get your PA system working. You're going to need to take the uh, wire that you got and uh, take one side of the wire, put the black wire to the bla to the uh, ground on your battery and take the red wire and put it to the red on your battery, the hot. And then you're going to take that wire and you're going to put it through your grommet that goes to your firewall. So you can get through your firewall. If you don't have a grommet, you can uh, drill through the firewall. It's not a suggestion, by the way. Uh, I would advise you definitely find a grommet because, yeah, you don't want to, like, void your warranty on your car or something by drilling through it. Anyways, <clears throat> not sure if it actually would void your warranty, but it might. So once you get through the grommet, you want to take it, and I have mine under my floor mat thing here, and you're going to want to connect it to your CB, to the wires that come with your CB already. And then your CB, sh make sure your CB has power. It should have power. You just turn on the switch, and it should come on a little indicator light that tells what channel you're on. Okay? The next thing you want to do is get your horn, your speaker power horn. That's what I call it, power horn, installed. You want to, it's, it's, it comes with just this white cable right here. And that has two wires coming off of it, one's like uh, the uh, red and one's the black. And you connect them and you do the little connecty deal with the things I talked about. You can get these at like a hardware store or just 
Home Depot, anything, you know, electrical type too. And you want to connect them, and then, I, I take, like I said, I take them. And, uh, you want to connect that. Once you get this, once you connect the white part to your wires, you want to connect your wires to your RCA cable, which is right here. Like that. And they're connected. And then you want to put the RCA cable, I, I put mine through this side because I didn't have room on my other side, and this is what side my horn's on anyways, so... I put it through right there. I don't know if you can see that. Zoom in a little bit, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, right there. Yep, that is uh, where I put my RCA cable through. And then the RCA cable comes out through the floorboard here. I uh, This can go under your mat if you have one. And then you pass it over the console thing area to your CB, and oh, uh, actually, you can mount your CB anywhere, really, but you, you just need to, like, be able to reach the microphone, and, like, I guess the switch is on it. So, I, I mean, I guess, like, you could have it on the other side of here if you didn't want, like, this coming across. You just have to reach over to get it. My CB is just, like, Velcroed on, actually. It's really well on. It just has three strokes of Velcro. Anyways, you want to take the RCA cable. That should be basically attached to your horn. Like, you know it through all the connections you've made. It's attached to your horn. And you're going to want to find... Woo! Getting down under here. Can't really see it, but you're going to want to connect your uh, RCA cable to your CB radio. So, if I can find that... Right. Oh, I think I found it. This is really difficult. Right, you know what? Actually, I'm going to take my CB off. Like I said, it's Velcro, so I can just stick it right back on. Look at that. comes off perfectly. You want to see the, see where it says PA right there? That is where we want to put this. So we just plug it in. Voila. And then I'm going to put this bad boy back up on here to its Velcro. Like that. And now, I will show y'all the PA. So you want to turn it on and uh, flip to PA. And now, I don't know if y'all can hear this, but... Hello. Hello. This is the PA system. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. It's actually not that difficult to uh, do. Takes maybe I'm guess inexperienced people. It might take you. If you're, I mean, inexperienced with like connecting wires and stuff. It might take you an hour after you get all the correct parts and everything. People who know what they're doing, it's gonna take you 30 minutes tops. It's not very difficult. Oh, and you also, I already closed my hood, so I can't open it back up again unless I go in through the door and do it. But uh, you want to get. A uh, a way to make sure your um, your horn is stable inside of your engine. You don't want it like rattling around, obviously, like get caught up in your engine belt or something bad to happen like that, because that would just suck. <clears throat> also, well, disclaimer on here, y'all don't like act like a cop. Seriously, first of all, people will just think you're like really immature and everything. And also, uh, you can get in like a lot of trouble. I'm not exactly sure if these are legal, but uh, yeah, uh, that's how you do it. And I uh, hope this video helped anyone that was struggling with it. And it's a really cool idea, just in case you guys are wondering. It's a lot of fun. I'm gonna probably put some videos up later of me actually uh, have using it. Me and my friends, maybe driving around, playing some ice cream music or something. You know, get the little kids out of the house. Wait, that sounds weird. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. That was kind of weird. Alright, yeah, this is uh, Mr. Tantrum. I'll see y'all later.